What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen Venom. Ooh, look at that landing. I'm here to give y'all the best perks and powers on South Park motherfucking snow day. Let's get it, man. Oh, yeah. Going to the shitter. Now, first things first, we're actually going to talk about um, the weapon I'm using and that I'm using in the gameplay clip. I love the daggers for the bleed effect. And I love this motherfucking flamethrower wand right here, man. Now, going to powers, um, let's see here. Let me see here if I could just click. There we go. All right. So I tried out all these powers. And I tell you what. Obviously, you start off with this one. It's okay. But, dude, you could jump pretty high on this game over a lot of things. Um, you'll be fine. Um, this one is hilarious. Um, it's actually pretty good on crowd control. So if you got a teammate, I definitely suggest uh, one of you have this. That's really fun to use. Or maybe you want to use a, a drone in the air. I think the cannonball, uh, snowball shit works a little bit better though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, basically, you got to have a totem. Everybody's got to have a totem, man. It's OP as shit, great as shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to carry you throughout the game. But what's even more OP than that is this goddamn gravity bomb. Oh my goodness. The upgrades you can get on this shit is just ridiculous. You can basically turn it to a gravity freeze bomb. And what's more broken than freezing your opponents and whooping their ass, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I love the gravity bomb. You gotta know how to use it. In the gameplay clip, you guys are gonna see how I use this with the fire effect, with the bleed effect. I mean, it's just matrimony in that motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Moving on to these goddamn perks. I went with all offense on my first playthrough of the game. I did all motherfucking offense, okay? So make sure you get all offense until you get this perk. And then you can start dropping some shit into health. The reason I didn't go with health first is because, um, you're gonna die fast in this game either way. Most of the bosses, they go two, three shots you anyways. So it's just better to get that uh, DPS in. And your teammates, if they're doing their job, they're gonna revive you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then stamina is the very last thing that I put points into. Because you really don't need it throughout the game. Uh, it's a little bit more convenient. But bro, 15%, please bro. You know what I mean? 10 extra health, that ain't gonna pay the bills. But 20% damage? Oh yeah, that's paying rent this month. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, all these cosmetics, all this other shit don't matter, man. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm running right now. Uh, since I beat the game, I'm in end game. I'm playing a lot of these uh, survivals and shit. You know what I'm saying? On hard mode. And yeah, I'm gonna get into this gameplay clip. I was actually um, playing against some pretty, uh, pretty hard enemies. And I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Peace. Sir, I'm out of here, coach. Don't say I didn't warn you, new kid. Fuck you. Wait, what's over here? Nothing. It's so weird how they put these spots on the map that you can't do nothing with. I guess they just try to take away from 
it being so linear, I don't know. I just need to dab on a little more Christmas magic. Wow. That's tough. Come here. This oh, is for my How did the adults get access to dark matter? This sucks. Well, technically we never wrote any rules. This is crazy. Oh, Let's go. Now I'm really turning up, bitch. Now I'm really turning up. Fuck out of my face. <laughs> 